Hey guys, HC Crypto here and welcome back to the channel. So we've been doing a lot of discussions about these Ethereum ETFs and I was kind of saying to everybody how they have been playing coy, they've been dropping very, very, very faint signals as to them either doing this or not doing this. And they did this around the, the BTC ETFs, they really kind of dragged it out and honestly Congress wasn't happy that they had dragged this thing out. They weren't happy about how long it took and realistically they had already approved an ETF so surely this was always going to be quicker. So I was saying in my previous videos today if you haven't checked them out do go back check those out subscribe like comment hit the notifications bell to stay informed. But I was saying that this could just happen at any time and just like they did with the BTC ETFs all of a sudden boom they've been approved and it goes from like zero to 100 miles per hour just like that. So this is breaking news. It's just landed. It's just starting to hit Twitter and it's just starting to get out there. And these Ethereum spot ETFs have been approved by the SEC. So we were talking about these S1 forms and something else we were talking about um, throughout the course of the day in Zach Humphrey space was like taking profits. And we were talking about these ETFs yesterday, but there was a lot of interest in what these ETFs were going to do. And I really do think there's going to be a little bit of a drawback like what we saw with BTC, but eventually sending Ethereum to a very much higher position. So if you've been dollar cost averaging into things like Ethereum, like I have alongside my XRP, you'll be very happy to know that this has happened. So this isn't just like um, uh, whispers, wind rumors. This is, it has been approved. There's documents out there um, Zach Humphreys has got a good document up, a pretty, pretty good, clear uh, copy of the document. So we'll, we'll actually flick over to that instead of going off the news article. Shout out to Zach Humphreys because he's just an absolutely amazing guy. He's really been doing quite a lot and getting a lot of the smaller kind of influencers involved in stuff. He, he gives us all gratitude. He shouts us off for being content creators, which is really nice. So as you can see in this document, we've got more or less them confirming what we've always wanted to see and it's going to be shares of the Van Neck Ethereum Trust and then the ARK21 shares as well for the Ethereum ETF and then the Investco Galaxy Ethereum ETF. You've also got the Fidelity Ethereum Fund, the Franklin Ethereum ETF and the BZX Rule 14. So the commodity based trust shares each filing was subject to notice and comment. So there's all these sorts of different comments, but as you can see, you've got a decent amount of these ETFs going through straight away, which is brilliant. This is what we want to see at the moment. So let's go back to this article. Now we've looked at that document and kind of have a browse over this and see what is going on. So we have got James Safe Fart, which is a very peculiar name, I must say, but crypto is a peculiar place to say the least. So that's not the weirdest thing that has happened today so as you can see this is very bullish we've got a lot of people that are talking about this so the SEC filings list eight ethereum etfs from van neck fidelity franklin grayscale bitwise arc invest and 21 shares investco and galaxy and blackrock iShares ethereum trust proposed for listing on nasdaq nyse arca and cboe bzx exchange so the ethereum etfs face a weak long process of filing the S1 registration statements. So more or less, right, we could start to see a decent movement upwards after around the week. And it's going to be a situation depending on how the crypto market's going to react. Is this a buy the rumor, sell the news situation? Are people are going to suddenly get out? I don't think this is. I think a lot more people are now going to be looking for a good opportunity to get involved in Ethereum moving forward. And then as obviously more and more liquidity flows into that overall market cap, the rest of the market gets very bullish and it starts to move upwards. And we're at a very good time at the moment. I think everybody zooms in so much and you're so zoomed in, you kind of forget just how hard we've run. The amount of people that were bullish at 42,000 and how euphoric everything is. And, you know, we're pushing back up into that 72k range coming back down again now kind of cooling off thinking about what it wants to do but once again pushing up to that real kind of high end area that we've just never seen before i've never been so bullish on crypto in my kind of lifetime moving forward as long as i've been in crypto so to speak 
So yeah, this move is expected to bring a substantial influx of institutional capital into the Ethereum market. And once again, right, this could bring a lot of institutional investment into crypto in general. Once a company starts to dibble dabble in crypto, they'll hire people that understand it. They'll dedicate more time to it, which means they'll find more opportunities. And something that is really, 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 really interesting at the moment, right, is the, the situation around these ETH ETFs and the staking situation and how staking is going to work um, for these ETFs, so to speak. And obviously staking is a huge part of Ethereum. So there's articles that are currently out there as to what kind of happens. And I think this is going to be an interesting situation because you have that huge inflow, but who's to say all of those coins are going to get staked. So this could be a really, really good opportunity, uh, for example, for people that are staked as the price goes up, normally this means more coins are coming on board, more coins are getting involved. I think there's a lot more that goes into staking coins when it comes down to the SEC because they've always kind of gone off of the idea that if you've got staking, you're providing staking. Well, you're a security, but this just isn't the case. So we're going to have to see how this all pans out. It's going to be really interesting because it all becomes rather contradictory. Can they continue the war on crypto at this point? if this adoption is coming in. I think this is all very interesting stuff. And once again, it's going to get so many people talking about crypto in general, although that these are just these ETH ETFs, right? In general, it's going to get people talking about crypto. So something to pay attention to, and it's something we were talking about in um, Zach Humphrey space, was these ETPs in the United Kingdom and that the fact that they're going to be launching on the 28th of May. And this really does um, put us in, in a position where these ETFs in the United States for ETH are launching, and now they're launching also in the United Kingdom, but not only for ETH, but for BTC as well. So this is a really bullish time for crypto. Some of the biggest like financial movements are done in the United States and then also done in the United Kingdom as well. And obviously the United Kingdom being very small. London attracts people globally. I think this is going to reach a lot further and this could, from my point of view, be the kickstart that the market needs. And although we could go through these phases of what people call chop solidation, which I think is a possibility, right? We're also going to see a continuous influx in. So we could chop solidate, right? We could keep going up and going down. But I think overall, if you zoom out, we're gradually going up and we gradually start to form these different kind of trend lines. So I'm super excited, very excited to see what's going to happen around the 28th of May. You've got obviously that news coming through in that article explaining to you that it's going to be a week long process to finalize uh, these S1 registration statements. But so, 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 so bullish. I'm hoping Zach does a space on this um, tomorrow. Hopefully he covers this and you know, we can get up, we can all talk about it again. I think it's brilliant. If you're part of the LUNC community, I'm thinking about um, starting a weekly LUNC space. Just allow anybody up. Obviously not not the idiots that consistently just come in and do that irritating stuff, but actual decent conversations of like project creators and people who are launching their games at the moment, like Luna Burning Nights are supposedly doing really well. So I'd like to hear from them. But on top of that, like NFT projects, DApps and all of these different things come up and have discussions, see how things are going, what people think on things, because we talk a lot in videos, but we don't always get to hear from you, the community, and you're definitely the most important aspect when it comes down to crypto. No community, nobody to get involved in the coin or crypto or to use and utilize projects, dApps, games, and all of the other cool stuff that gets built over time. Um, if you're wondering what those little things were at the bottom of the screen during all of my videos, there are links to the Patreon. We do do a monthly giveaway, which has the equivalent of currently around $1,500. We do that every month to two holders in that group on top of all of our different alpha calls. And it's very cheap to get involved with that. So do check that out. We've also got the dollar cost average in and out indicator, which is still 20% off for life. If you want to get involved, if you're wondering when's a good time, right? To take profits, a good time to dive in, a good time to dive out and you're not very good at making decisions and indicate is probably what you need at this point. 
and you should probably check it out. What have you got to lose? There's a 30 day money back guarantee at this point. Guys, stay safe, stay humble, enjoy this news, stay bullish, stay safe during these times. Don't click on any funny links. Don't give anybody your seed phrase. Question everything twice and just be careful. And as always, guys, stay safe, stay humble, stay aware. I'll catch you in the next one.